tamaraws are distinguished from related buffalo by their smaller stature and straight horns. These characteristics led taxonomists to categorize these animals as a unique species and not a subspecies of Asiatic water buffalo bee. Gubali's total height at the shoulders is 106 cm, head and body length is 220 cm, and tail length is 60 cm. Few reported weights are available in the literature. Those given are for females only and range from 180 to 300 kg. Horn shape can be used to determine the sex of skulls, with male horns being thicker, longer, flatter, and closer together than those of females. Reproduction Little is known about mating systems of tamaras in the wild. Males and females generally remain separate during most of the year, coming together only during breeding season. Ubalis minderensis breeds during the dry season, from December to May. Gestation is 276 to 315 days, time so that births occur during Mindoro's wet season, allowing the neonates access to a fresh, abundant food supply. Cows give birth to a single calf every two years and leave the mothers at the age of two to four years, meaning calves from several years may accompany a cow at one time. Limited evidence of a cow grazing 50 meters from a newborn calf hiding in the grass suggests that young may behave as hiders. Age of primiparity or sexual maturity is not given in the literature, but one source says they reach adulthood at six years of age. Behavior Adult tamaras, both cows and bulls, are largely solitary. This differs from other bovids and has been explained as an adaptation to living in forested environments where large social groups are impractical. Associations between males and females are infrequent and short-lived, occurring during the breeding season. Cows are often accompanied by young of several years. Males and females are driven from family groups at three and 4.5 years of age, respectively. Food habits. Tamaraws are herbivorous, feeding on grass species such as Cynodon arcuatus, Digitaria sanguinalis, Eleusine indica, Sorghum natidum, Paspellum scrobulatum, Olotropsis semulata, and Vetiviria zizanoides. During the rainy season, they feed on shoots of bamboo. Predation. Tamaraws have no known native predators on Mindoro and frequently fed in the open during daylight, suggesting little concern for predation. Humans are the only predator of tamaraws, and the development of Mindoro has also led to a more secretive and nocturnal lifestyle for tamaraws. Ecosystem roles. Given their current small population size, tamaraws are not likely to play a dominant role in the ecosystem processes of present-day Mindoro. The historical importance of tamaraz in the Mindoro ecosystem is unclear, although they may have influenced vegetation succession through their grazing and wallowing. Economic importance for humans, positive. Tamaraz have been hunted for food and sport in the past, but these activities have been outlawed since 1936. Tamara, or Mindoro dwarf buffalo, is solely endemic to the island of Mindoro. It is the only wild cattle species living in the Philippine archipelago. It is a rather solitary animal weighing up to 300 kilograms and measuring only about one meter high. Originally widespread across the island, the Tamara has suffered from heavy hunting and continued habitat destruction during the last century. The species has gradually been confined within the mountainous interior of the island. Its population has shrunk from 10-0 in 1900 to no more than 400 animals nowadays. Despite its protected status and conservation efforts from local institutions, the Tamara seems to be more and more limited to the well-monitored core zone, a 16-0 hectare area, within Mounts Iglet Baco National Park. This core zone is supposedly the last viable refuge of the species. It is listed as critically endangered on the red list of the IUCN. The current home range of the Tamara stretches over the ancestral land of the Mangians' indigenous communities who are the original inhabitants of the island. Within the protected area, Mangians preserve a traditional lifestyle based on hunting and slash and burn agriculture. Both Tamara and Mangians depend on the preservation of the natural environment for their survival. The future of the species is therefore inherently linked to these communities. For more details visit websites that mention in description. Thanks for watching.